I'm a weirdo. I'm a god of war. You a guitar hero. So let's box like Tyson. You'll get punched out. What's up, guys? I just thought I'd make this quick video. Probably looks like shit, but uh, did an Xbox 360 pickup today. And these most of these are probably going to GameStop tomorrow or the day after. So I just wanted to. Throw these in my pickup video real quick. For 30 bucks, we got Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. Simpsons game. It's about a $20 game. Minecraft. Need for Speed Shift. Skate 3. That trades in for about $15 right now. Uh, Lego Marvel Avengers. Yeah, that one trades in for about at least $17. Not at the museum. I don't even think they'd take that one. Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. Iron Man, Flat Out Ultimate Carnage, I'll probably keep that one because I don't have it, I like racing games and shit like that, we got The Last Remnant, this ain't even listed on GameStop site so I'm just going to keep it, Skylander Swap Force, that ain't listed on their website, Batman, I think this is like a buck, I might as well keep that one. Next sports, you know that's garbage. Lego Marvel Superheroes. Madden 13. And, uh, Call of Duty Combat Pack, which this would probably would have been the better one I had, but of course it's missing Black Ops 2. And that wasn't disclosed till they meet up. She knew it. Uh came with a truck. Charging stand had two white controllers. They were absolute trash, and that's where they are. So I paid thirty bucks. I at least get eighty to ninety in trade, hopefully. So it'll work out. And uh, right now it's that extra seventy percent if you trade in six or more games. So I got to get this, uh, get these games in there to get that. Peace. All right, guys, just leaving this building here. Focus. They had a little uh, sale in there. They do it every year. I uh, found a guy that had some game stuff. I had to pay a little bit for these games, but I got some decent stuff. We got uh, Rampage. Paid 5 for that. Pokemon Stadium 2. Paid 10 for that. A game I've never come across. Snowboard Kids. Paid 10 for that. So for 25 bucks, pretty good deal. I flipped Pokemon Stadium and... Uh, That'll cover uh, my expenses. What's up guys, Shad Juice here. I'm on my way to go pick up a GameCube lot for 30 bucks. It's got uh, some, not a whole lot of games, but definitely some good games. So uh, I'll show you uh, what I got when I get to it. Peace. All right guys, we're here with what I picked up. We got a purple Indigo GameCube. Needs to be cleaned up a little bit door works good I've yet to get it come across the GameCube that doesn't work so hopefully this one works fine came with the matching controller hookups and then they had uh you said four controllers but of course three of them are knockoffs this generic black one another generic black one and uh this uh mad cats uh Microcon, but I only bought I only bought this bundle because of the games, not these first couple. But we got a Scooby Doo Night of a Hundred Frights. It's got a GameCube memory card in there. Nintendo brand. We got Shrek Two. Here's the good ones. We got uh. Mario Kart Double Dash, another game Nintendo GameCube uh, official controller. The discs are in decent shape, which is always good. We also got uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time with the Master Quest. This one's missing the manual. 
and we got a uh, Mario Party 4. But we also got a copy of Luigi's Mansion. Pretty clean disc. That's also missing a manual. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Uh, I got all the games. But uh, first off, I paid 30 bucks, which is a hell of a deal. I had to go to him, but it wasn't too far away. I mean, just the Mario Kart's 30 bucks. So I don't know if I'm going to sell all of it as a bundle on eBay or maybe just the games. But uh, all right, guys, it's uh, my pickup for 30 bucks. Pretty damn good deal if you ask me. <laughs> you look a little thirsty. You want some shad juice? No, I don't. You know, I didn't want to know what that means. <laughs> What's up guys, Shad Juice here, back at you again with another episode of Video Game Hunting Finds. Got a whole bunch of shit again, man. Uh, been having some decent luck the last few months. So, uh, let's get this party started. Uh, I guess I'll do a pawn shop first because, uh, it's been kind of dry. I did get a nice, uh, DS, uh, DS and 3DS lot, but I already flipped it on eBay. I'll share a picture right here if I do. If I don't, sorry. I want to be the very best like no one ever was. But, uh, I picked this one up today. Picked up uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5 for the PS3. It was only 2 bucks and it was pretty clean. I could make about 10 bucks off of it, maybe. I already got it on the Xbox One. I like it, even though it could have been better, but it's just Tony Hawk, man. I've always loved Tony Hawk games. Alright. Actually found a few things at the thrift store. I think this was a day I was off on a Friday again. I hope I didn't show these in the last video, but if I did, shit happens. <laughs> First place I went to, they look like they got a bunch of games in, but I missed out on them. But, uh, there was some stuff behind the counter again. I don't know if they were being held or what, but this was back there for, uh, three bucks. Got a clean copy of Mario Strikers Charged. And, uh, I had to wait for a lady to come back there and cashier, and she gave it to me for half price for the wait, so I paid like $1.60 or something. So you can't beat that. Then uh, I went to a Goodwill, and uh, there was a guy stocking the uh, DVDs and stuff. He had a whole cart full of stuff. I was just hanging out, seeing what he put out, and uh, he did manage to put out a couple games. We got, picked up the Grinch on the PlayStation 1. It's in really clean condition. It goes for about 15 bucks, maybe. 13 to 15 bucks. Then uh, we picked up uh, Tecmo Super Bowl on the PS1, which was the first time I've ever seen that game out. They were marked three bucks a piece, but it was a uh, half off day, so I picked all four of them games up for less than f four bucks, man. Pretty much, pretty awesome. Actually, they were half off, but she marked them as CDs, so I got them extra cheap. So. Alright, that's it for those. I'll show you what my boy Hive G's sent me, man. Uh, he had picked this up and I was like, hey dude, I need that to complete my uh, a box game I got. So he shot me over uh, Contra, the manual for Contra. Which I got the uh, box for. It's in rough shape. Pretty rough shape, but not at least be complete until I get a better box. I appreciate it, Hive. You the man. Make sure you go check out his channel. I'm going to link it in the uh, description down below. Hobbs always looking out for his homies, for sure. That's how we do it. So we got that complete now. Uh, I guess I'll go to eBay pickups. Or no, man, let me do the yard sales because I probably threw the yard sale footage in me. You guys already seen it, but uh, for a buck a piece, I picked these up. Assassin's Creed 3 on the PS3. Skyrim on the PS3. 
and uh, Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves for the PS2. So that was complete and in nice shape. Then uh, there's a sale they have every year right by my house in this little like hall. It's like a church hall kind of. And uh, this guy had some gaming stuff. He had a few 64 games. I got a decent price on them. Not like dirt cheap, but uh, picked up Rampage for five bucks. We picked up uh, Snowboard Kids, which I've never come across this, so that's going in the collection. Ready? Then we picked up uh, Pokemon Stadium 2. Really nice shape. So I paid 10 bucks a piece for the Snowboard Kids and Pokemon Stadium 2, which that's a pretty damn good deal. So that was my yard sale finds. Uh, I haven't had a whole lot to make a yard sale finds. I've had a couple... Of, I've had some footage filmed and stuff. It's just not, not worth making a whole video about it. Alright. I'm going to go to my eBay pickups. I got some pretty good deals on eBay lately. Picked up a couple NES games cheap that I didn't have. I picked up a uh, Sky Shark. Somehow I still didn't have that. I think that was five bucks or less than five shipped. About what it goes for. Then uh, I've never seen this game. This is the first time I've seen this pop up on eBay or anything. But, uh, Mickey Safari and Letterland. If you could tell, uh, there's actually a common occurrence with the labels, like, getting faded and messed up. I don't know if you guys can see it. But it looks like it was printed out of a printer still wet or something, you know what I mean? But I got that for, like, eight bucks shipped. That's at least half price. I had messaged the seller about the condition of the label, but, uh, I cut her a break after I looked it up and figured it out, you know, it was a common occurrence, so no big deal. So I got a good price on it. I really didn't want to send it back either. Uh, these were uh, two GameCube games I've been wanting for a while. And they happened to be in the same lot, and I got a killer price on it. We got uh, Wave Race Blue Storm, which was one of my favorite 64 games, Wave Race, and I've never played it on GameCube. That's complete. And, uh... With that one, we had a uh, 1080 Avalanche, which 1080 was a favorite game of mine on the 64. Both complete, five like five dollars and some change shipped. Damn good deal. I caught this one; it popped up. Uh, I'm not sure what it goes for. I know the game's probably about 10, 15 bucks, but I got a complete in box. That's Killer Instinct on the Super Nintendo. Not in too bad a shape, it's not perfect. This is one of my favorite fighters growing up. It doesn't have the music CD, but it's got the manual in the game. Pull it out real quick. The game's like really clean. And the manual's in there. I think that was a 2019 something shipped. Pretty good price. I caught this one that uh, first popped up too. Hold on, let me unplug this for a second. Uh, it was it was being sold as is because they said it didn't have the AV cable to, to uh, hook it up. They said it was spinning and it's turning on fine, but uh. It was a white Dreamcast. 
had the power cable and there it's just missing the AV which I got AVs here and then uh had one game with it and the game was a uh, Sonic Adventure 2 which complete sometimes goes around 50 bucks so I got this game and the system for like $24.99 shipped damn good deal I got that right when it popped up uh, the This has some scratches, but it does play. I played it for a while. I'll tell you what, the soundtrack on it is pretty good. I liked it. I liked it, man. It was pretty nice. But yeah, it was a fun little game. I played it for a while. So then were some pretty good eBay pickups, man. I was happy to get those. Alright, uh got a couple lots here that I got off of people. This was from a prior yard sale about three weeks ago. The guy told me he had some Super Nintendo games and 64 games, but it was at their house, I guess. I don't know how what was going on if they were selling stuff at a, a relative's house or something, but uh, he said to take my number down. I said, hey, uh, that usually never pans out, man. How about I take your number and uh, I'll like, remind you or something or shoot you a text. And uh, I had texted him a couple times and... You know, I guess they've been busy and stuff. And he finally got back to me today, and uh, he had five sixty-four games and uh, some decent ones. And he said twenty bucks. I said sure, man, that's awesome. Got a couple of generic ones first. We got a uh, Olympic Hockey '98, which I don't have, so at least I can add it to the collection. We got a uh, WCW Mayhem. And three really solid titles. Gauntlet Legends. Does have a couple scratches on the left there, but no big deal. Paper Mario. It's got some label issues. And uh, Super Smash Brothers. It's got some label fading. I see that a lot with this game for some reason. So uh, them 64 games were 20 bucks, man. That was a hell of a hell of a deal there. He did find uh, there was a couple of Super Nintendo games mixed in with them, and uh, he said five bucks a piece. The other one was like a Batman Forever. I didn't really care for, but he had a uh, X Men uh, Mutant Apocalypse. So I grabbed that for five bucks. So it's pretty good deal. He's in the process. Him and his girl are in the process of moving. He said he'll contact me when he finds a. Uh, Super Nintendo stuff, and he said he's got NES stuff at his parents' house, so hopefully that works out in the future. We'll see. Alright, we got uh, two big pickups here. I'll go with this uh, NES pickup first. There's about uh, 25 games, I think. Nothing, nothing like major, no really great games, but... uh. It came with a bunch of manuals, which I couldn't see what the manuals were, but I seen there was a decent amount, so I was stoked about that just to get manuals, hoping I get some I needed or you know just have some for the future. I was more excited about the manuals than the games, but uh, first off, it came with this uh, Comerica Freedom Stick. It's like a wireless stick. I think it hooks up with the, if I'm not mistaken, the NES and the Sega maybe there's the receiver and then it's got some cords that go with it but I don't have them in here with me show you the games I got with it got 
Pinball Quest, Mario Duck Hunt, Wheel of Fortune, 1942, that's a good one, Ninja Turtles, Star Voyager, Bases Loaded 3, Twin Cobra, Top Gun Second Mission, Legend of Zelda, I think that was you know, the best one in the lot, of course, Days of Thunder, Smash TV, these next four are ones I didn't have, which was always good to add to the collection, we got Shooting Range, thought I had it, but I was lucky I looked it back up. I didn't. Silkworm. Ultimate Basketball. Uh, Twin Eagle. Didn't have those. Got another little stack here. Got Seacross. Robo Warrior. I'm not sure if I have that one. I need to look it up. Joust, Solar Jetman, Sight Bike, Tech Mobile, it's a little beat up. Gretzky Hockey, World Class Track Meet, formerly known as Stadium Events, and a uh, Rally Bike. I've got that rally bike quite a few times, and it's a little, little harder game to get. Not too expensive or anything. Uh, people will say they got manuals with stuff, and I always want to see what manuals they got. So I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to try to go through them real quick. I might not say what they are, because there's just about 40 of them. All right, duck hunt. Smash TV. There's there's actually games in here that wasn't in a lot, which Thundercade, which I need, wasn't in there. RC Pro Am wasn't in there. Defender 2 wasn't in there. Paperboy wasn't in there. Double Dragon wasn't in there. I, I got a feeling they kept some of the games they wanted, which is cool. I understand that. Pinball Quest, Power Pad, Mario 2 wasn't in there. Bubble Bobble wasn't in there. Top Gun, Sight Bike, Mario 3 one in there, Balloon Fight one in there, Gradius wasn't in there, Solar Jetman, Zelda, which I know I needed that one, Terra Cresta, which I was disappointed that wasn't in there, don't have that game, Twin Cobra, Turtles, There's just some random paperwork too. I ain't gonna show you all that stuff. Blades of Steel, Captain Commando, Castlevania, which wasn't in there, which that's nice to have. Twin Eagle, Top Gun, Silkworm, and Rally Bike. Awesome to get those. Town and Country Surf Designs went in there. Ghosts and Goblins wasn't. Rad Razor wasn't. Some posters. Got a control deck and zapper book. Which that'll come in handy in a second. A freedom stick. Advantage. Just some other random paperwork. But yeah, it was really cool to get that stuff. I love getting that stuff. Oh, that ain't it, man. This stuff wasn't in the uh, picture, so I was surprised to get it. Got a box for Goldeneye. Didn't have the manual. It's got Rush manual in there. But I already got that box. I was fucking super stoked to get this. Sorry for my cussing, but... 
My jaw dropped when I seen it, probably. The box, the Zelda Ocarina of Time Collector's Edition. Look at that shiny shit. I love it. So happy to get this. It didn't have the game in it, but it had the manual, but I already had the game. The gold cart. So yeah, man. That's sexy right there. So stoked to get that in there. It's, it's nice when like something comes up and you didn't know it was coming. So Pleasant surprise for sure. Alright, I uh, highlighted this in a little clip at the beginning of the video. But we'll show it again. Yeah, for all that uh, NES stuff with the manuals and everything I just showed you, I paid 50 bucks. So that was a damn good deal. Their price. Or maybe they asked 75 And I just shot 50 just for the hell of it, and they took it. So. This next slide, we got a GameCube, two memory cards. Matching controller, and then you've seen it had three generic controllers. Then the games were uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time and Master Quest. No manual. Scooby Doo, Night of a Hundred Frights. Mario Party 4, no manual. Shrek 2. Mario Kart Double Dash, that's complete. Then, uh, a loose copy of Luigi's Mansion. All the discs were in decent shape, which I was happy about. Paid 30 bucks for that lot, another good deal. I got uh, one last deal here. Um, this guy had a bunch of shit, and he wanted. He was acting like he had to get rid of it then and now, man. He had like a stack of 64s, a stack of NESs, and it's just, I don't really want to mess with the systems. I got a few extra ones already. I don't want to fork out all that money for stuff I really don't want to mess with. I'm more than just looking for games. But uh, he had a couple box systems, which was cool. I told him to bring the two box systems and the games down. And, uh,. It looked like he had a bunch of Xbox and PS2 games. They all ended up being sports, so I didn't get none of those. But, uh... He said he had an expensive Super Nintendo game. But, uh... What shade of games I ended up picking up? This was a long uh, process, and I'll tell you why in a second. We got Racket Attack, which I don't have. Tecmo Super Bowl, Pokemon Stadium, World is Not Enough, Blue Cart, Cruising USA, WrestleMania 2000, a couple Super Nintendo games, we got a uh, Super Mario World, Super Mario Kart, and then uh, Player's Choice Mario Kart. Got a few uh, Game Boy games. These are in real nice shape. Tetris. Space Invaders. Madden 95. And Zelda. It's cool to get that Zelda. It's really nice condition. And then uh, we'll pan over here. Let me get some stuff out the way here. Show you what I got. We got man too close. If you can see it, we got an action set. Decent shape. Still got the service merchandise sticker on it right there, and then up here, which I think is really cool, man. I used to love going to service merchandise. I don't know if you guys had them in your area. But uh, the story about this was he had another Super Nintendo game. He had uh, supposedly had Super Turrican 2, 
which is a pretty pricey game. I'd say about 175 around that area. So, uh, he shot me with the games and the system I just showed you, 200 bucks, right? So I said, uh, I hit him back with 160. I know Super Turrican's worth a lot of money. He knew, he knew what it was worth, right? So we agreed on 160. I go walk down to the ATM. He, I see him get on his phone right away, which I thought was weird. He's talking about he going for a breakup with his kids and all this, all this goofy shit. I go to the ATM, get the money out, I come back. That Super Turrican had the sleeve at the bottom of the cartridge, right? So I never took it off. I said, I got to make sure this is legit, man. I took the sleeve off, and wouldn't you know, it had the little fucking plastic screws in it. That ain't really screws. It's just like a decoration. You can pop the fucking cartridge. Just, just take it apart right then and there. So... I don't want to get off on a rant here, but... It was a repro with the Japanese board in it. Didn't say Nintendo anywhere. At that point, I got pissed. Because... I know he knows. I he was eBay pricing me on stuff. He knows what he had, man. He acted like he had no clue, and then he wanted to knock like twenty bucks off. I'm like, you just want to knock twenty bucks off, and you were advertising this, you know, for a almost two hundred dollar game. I was pissed. I ain't even want to deal with him anymore after that. But I know he, he he seemed like he needed the money and shit. I said, look, man, I'll give you a hundred bucks for the system and the games i know that's it's not rip off it's about a little about half of what everything was worth or a little more in my opinion it's craigslist you know i'm not it's not ebay you ain't paying no fees so i said look man i'll give you a hundred bucks and that's it and you got got down to 120 i said man i'll just walk back in the building because i was at work and i was like i didn't really won't even do the deal after that. I said, look, man, I got 100 bucks if that'll help you out. If not, we can shake hands, man, and you can part ways, and I'll go in. No hard feelings. But, uh, so he pulls out Super Tech Mobile on Nintendo, and it's like, if I throw this in, what you do to 120? I said, man, I don't really need it. I'm only doing the 100 bucks. If you don't want to do it, it's cool. So he ends up doing the 100, and then I got Super Tech Mobile thrown in there. I was, it, it was just awkward, man. It was a really awkward deal. And, uh, I mean, I'm happy I got the action set because I didn't have that one. I got the deluxe set and the power set. Never had the action set, which is weird. But, yeah, man, goofy shit. Always make sure you check things out, man. I almost was that close to being... I mean, money-wise, I still wouldn't have did too bad. But I'd have been super pissed if I bought that and it was fake and I didn't check it, so... If you can, man, always make sure I got out of there pretty decent, man. But uh, always make sure. I appreciate you guys watching. And if you listen to my story at the end, just had to get it out there, man. I want to tell somebody. But uh, I appreciate everybody. I want you guys to check out my videos. Uh, I'm going to try to do a little better in the future, more outside footage. Like when I do go do a pickup, I'll just, I'll just videotape the pickup right then and there. Instead of sitting in this game room and you looking at this background back here. I don't really like being on camera. I just want to show the games, but maybe we'll change in the future, man. Like I said, I love y'all. Thanks for watching. Make sure you go check out Hive G's channel. Links below. Peace.